Hello everybody, 55 points with me, Dr. Paul. We'll take the quiz, it's pretty quick. You've got 10 seconds to answer each question. Questions go up in difficulty and in value as we go. Start off with one point. Uh, first question is about Australia. What is the local Aborigine name for the Australian landmark Ayers Rock? You've got 10 seconds to get your answer out before I reveal the answer. So it used to be called Ayers Rock. Usually now it's called the original Aborigine name. What is that name? It is now called Uluru. One point, if you got that right. Number two is about Disney music for two points. Uh, the song When You Wish Upon a Star is synonymous with Disney, but which 1940 Disney film was it originally written for? There you go, 10 seconds. So the answer is a Disney film, a Disney classic. When you wish upon a star, la da 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 it's Pinocchio. Two points you get for that one. See, the points go up every time. You understand? Which 1994 film includes the line, Get Busy Living or Get Busy Dying? Spoken by a character played by Morgan Freeman. All right, there go the 10 seconds. What's the name of that film? Get Busy Living or Get Busy Dying? I don't know how he says it. Maybe like that. No seconds left. Classic film it is Shawshank Redemption. Everyone likes Shawshank Redemption. Four points for this horse racing question. 50-50 as well. When did the first female jockey ride in the Grand National? 1877 or 1977? Uh, still to this day, most of the riders are male. But when was the first female jockey? 1877 or 1977? Time's up. It's 1977. Right in the era of punk. Five points, big dog. Another 50-50. Which one of these pedigree dog breeds is taller? Afghan hound or Irish wolfhound? Even the 50-50 uh, ones, you get a full 10 seconds. But you're down to three seconds, two seconds, one second. Choose a dog. It's Irish wolfhound. <laughs> oh, woof. Um, uh, number six for six points. Who was the leader of the British Labour Party uh, from 2010 to 2015. Hounded by the press, of course, like all Labour leaders. Didn't do that well as Labour leader. Zero seconds left. The right answer, Ed Miliband. Uh, famous for eating a bacon sandwich. That's his contribution to history. Seven points now. We're getting more difficult. Which Canadian city is the capital of Manitoba province and is also the largest city in that province. So in Canada they have provinces instead of states or anything else. What's the capital of Manitoba and largest city there? It is Winnipeg. Yeah. Seven points. Well done if you knew that one. Here's another thing about faraway countries. Tongue. Which language is this? All right. Kamea means terrible or shocking. Kalimato means cabbage worm. What kind of language is this? Points are out. Time's out, rather. The eight points finish. Well done if you spotted finish. I think that's quite difficult. Punk's not dead. How old was Sid Vicious when he died? Got to get this spot on. Okay, so Sid Vicious was the bass player out of the Sex Pistols, uh, and he died. Pretty young, but how young exactly? 21 years old when he died. In, I think, 1979. And uh, another music question. Complete the title of this 2003 Snow Patrol album. It's called Final Something. What is... The last word there. Snow Patrol, final something. This is for 10 points. If you get this right, it's a big 10 points. Two seconds. One second. No seconds. Final straw. It's the final straw. Well, how did you get on? What was your score? Uh, upload your score. Like you know, Put it in the comments. Like it if you liked it. Share it if you want to share it with your friends. Challenge them to see if they can do better than you. Subscribe. To Dr. Paul, you find out about all the quizzes. Yeah. Quizzes every day.
55 points. You love it. How many did you score? I bet you got 31 points. Will you tell me? Psychedelic. Indian style. Woo! 